So everybody, Hulky Boy here. Um, today, as the title suggests, we're going to be looking at the GTX 980 Ti card. Uh, those of you that have uh, watched my last video, you'll know that I've got my uh, Alienware Area 51 desktop tower, and it comes with a GTX 980 Ti card. I did do a video a little while ago comparing the 980 Ti card to the GTX 980 to see what the performance difference was between the two cards. Uh, today I'm going to be using, reusing part of that video to show you what the GTX 980 Ti card scored in the amplifier uh, while using 3D Mark's Fire Strike uh, graphics test and I'm going to use the 3D Mark's Fire Strike graphics test exactly the same on the tower so we can compare the card when it's in the Alienware Area 51 tower compared to the amplifier to see if there's any bottleneck, uh, what the difference between the two is uh, I will go through some of the other factors that are going to be possibly uh, interfering with the score itself in terms of the, the tower spec versus the laptop spec and uh, hopefully we can get some results and go from there. So we're loading up the combined test now. I'm just going to go through some of the stats with you just so you don't get too bored. Uh, the difference between the two cards, obviously the GTX 980 Ti has 50% more memory, it has around a 20% better pass mark score, uh, the Ti scores 11,555 and the 980 scores 9,748. The Ti is actually is top of, uh, of on the pass mark website so you can take a look at that. It has around a 35% higher pixel rate and there is uh, 32 more render output processors. 48 more texture mapping units and it's more than 25% better on pass mark direct computer score so as you would expect there's going to be around about a 20% maybe give or take a little bit more on uh, FPS when we're gaming and it should be able to handle 4k slightly better as well uh, let's have a look okay so the score for this we got 10,566 Better than 88% of uh, other results. I'm not too sure how that fares. Uh, number of cards one. Yeah, so you can see here we are testing the GeForce GTX 980Ti just to prove. It's a 6 gig card, standard clock state, um, driver version, it's all there. And it just lists here. I don't know how much for how much effect this has, but yes, this is my processor. Speed, general RAM, bits and pieces. So there you have it. What we see in. Okay, so as you can see, we're on the desktop itself. Um, let me just see if I can focus that in for you a little bit. Uh, we're going to be running Fire Strike, as I said, uh, 1080p resolution, the same as on the uh, Anywhere laptop. And let's see how we perform with the TI card in the desktop. <coughs> uh, if I remember right, there's a few tests that is performed. You got the first test, um, the second graphical test, and then a combined test at the end. I may cut this video as I said before, um, depending on how long it takes. I can't remember exactly how long it does take, and it's taking longer than I'd like to load up itself, which is great. I've got the FPS count in the corner again, which I think you may be able to see at the top there. sound for this and we got between 25 and 35 FPS average on the last test on the on the laptop and already on this one we've we've hit quite high so be interesting to see what the overall results are
It looks nice and smooth, there's no juddering around. It's not like it's stri struggling to render any of it while it's going on. I would, if I can get hold of a copy of this, like to try it in 4K, but it's a, an extra that you get when you purchase the full the full version. I mean, this is only the demo mode, so we've literally got the, a few tests to do, and they, the highest it goes is 1080p, and then yeah, you have to, if you have to pay to upgrade it, basically. So I think this is going to be enough for what we need, but it would be nice just to see what it would run in 4K. However, these monitors are, are 1080p, so I'd have to get a 4K monitor. But uh, if we do see some sizable increases from the laptop to this, I, you know, the, the, the games in themselves when testing in 4K generally got around about 30, 40 FPS. So if we do get a sizable increase on the desktop, that, that should uh, warrant me being able to get a 4K monitor and playing in 4K at a decent resolution and at a, you know, a decent 4K resolution with the decent graphic settings at a good FPS. Okay, I cut the video a little bit short on that one because the test was going on for ages. This one is Fast Strikes Graphics test number one. You're sitting around about, well, 70 all the way up to 90 frames. You can't see the white box at the bottom, but uh, it's just literally going through an FPS counter, the frames that are being mounted up and the time the test is taking. It's solid 70s, 80s FPS, which is nice. I think, yeah, okay, that's that test done. And this one is graphics test two. I mean, we averaged 70 to 80 on the AMO 15 laptop when we ran this test in 1080p. So it'd be nice to see some increases on that and it'll just kind of confirm that it is performing better. I mean, I expect there to be a bottleneck. I mean, a lot of people have said in, in comments and bits and pieces on the videos that there has been difference, you know, when they're running the, the TLI card in their desktop compared to what I was getting on the, on the laptop, there was a difference. And we're hitting 60, we did hit 80 a second ago, I mean, solid 60s at the moment, 70s, it is gonna fluctuate, I think. Interesting to see the final score. I know in the last one we hit 10,566 when using the amplifier. Okay. Physics test. Now I'm not too sure if this kind of involves the CPU or how much of that is, you know, just the graphics card itself, but we're sitting. 45, 50 FPS. Quite a lot going on. I think this test is only about 30 seconds long, which is a relief. There we go. And this one, I think the final next one that's combined. Here we go. Um, I can tell you on the last one, we 16 to 22 FPS on the on the laptop. So we'll see what we get on this one. I'm hoping for about 30% increase in the desktop compared to the amplifier personally from what I've been told. Okay, yeah, so we're about 35, 36. So definitely an increase, 30. It's not really falling below below 30 now, it's 29 and places, but mainly 35, 36 and 78. Definitely an increase on the previous. Okay, let me just get a close up for you. Okay, as you can see, the score is is a lot better. We're at fourteen thousand and fifty two for this one, whereas on the on the laptop amplifier was ten thousand five hundred and sixty six. I mean, the spec itself is, like I said, going to possibly have a bit of an influence. Um. Combined test, yeah, combined scores. Put in 
full screen. I mean, the difference between the two. I mean, the laptop's an, an i7, 2.5, four cores, a 16 gig of RAM, whereas the the Area 51 is, is a lot more powerful. It's got 32, 32 gig of RAM. Uh, it's got a Haswell processor in it, which is it's just a six core, and that's a 3.3, so it's more powerful. There's an extra two cores. Um, so yeah, I'm not I'm not too sure how much of an influence that is going to have on, on the overall test. I mean, I imagine it will have a little bit of an influence, but overall, it looks as though well, it's a good it's a good few or four thousand nearly three and a half thousand. The score's three and a half thousand better than than on the uh, amplifier. So I'd imagine yeah, looking about thirty five percent bottleneck, it would appear on the uh, on the on the laptop, so yeah, it's going to definitely perform better in in the tower itself. So that's a that's an interesting find. Okay, so sizable increase. I did run the test a couple of more times and ranged from fourteen thousand to fourteen thousand five hundred, which is between three and a half and four thousand points better than the amplifier, which is about thirty five to forty percent difference. So. I'm not too sure, like I said, how much of an influence the spec of the computers is having on them. I'd imagine there is a you know, decent amount of difference between the two. Like I said, the, uh, the laptop's a 2.5 uh, quad i7, and the, the tower is a, is a Haswell 6 core 3.3. Uh, double the RAM is 16 and gig on the laptop, 32 on the, on the desktop. Um, so I imagine that is going to have some sort of influence on, on how it's performing. But uh, just to give you guys an overall, yeah, there is a there is a diff, definitely an increase in performance when using it in the desktop. I don't know if there's any power constraints. I mean, the desktop's got a 1.5 kilowatt power supply. Um, even though the laptop was on high performance and it was plugged in via AC, I don't know if that's going to have a, an influence as well. I'd imagine it would. But just to give you guys like an overall, it, it was about 35, you know, bit more percent better before it performed better on the on the desktop itself. So, um, thank you for watching the video. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comment section down below. Anything you'd like to see, uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing some game testing between the laptop and the desktop. We've got the TI card and the, TI, uh, the 980 card now at my disposal so we can swap them around and play around with them. Uh, what I may do is take the TI card out of the Area 51 and put the, the 980 in there and run the test and see the difference between the two cards on the same system, which should be quite good. Um, yeah, so anything you'd like to see, drop it in the comment section, comment section down below and I'll do my best to get it done for you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Appreciate all the uh, support, support. Up to 360 odd subscribers now, so the channel's growing nicely. Thanks again, guys, and see you soon.